Patrick Cantlay has a two shot lead heading into the final round of the Genesis Invitational. Patrick, how would you compare today's round versus the rest of the golf that you found at Riviera Country Club? Yeah, I didn't make as many putts today, but uh, played a solid round of golf other than uh, maybe 17, but uh, in a good spot going in tomorrow. We mentioned that you're a local boy, UCLA grad. You had a lot of friends and family out there this week. Can you explain who is out here cheering you on and uh, how much that means to you? Yeah, we got friends and family out this week. Uh, definitely a number of ticket requests um, and a bunch of friends up from Virginia Country Club, uh, Long Beach area, and, and where I grew up in Los Alamitos. It seems like you're also going to have a friend in the final group tomorrow and your good friend, Xander Schauffele. He was just up here. We spoke to him and he said he's looking forward to it, that you guys battle all the time in practice rounds, that you guys kind of give each other a lot of grief. But from your perspective, uh, what are you looking forward to most about going up against him in the final round? Yeah, it'll be great. Um, I think we've played together in some final rounds before, um, so it, it'll be a real comfortable pairing and, and uh, you know, looking forward to it. Uh, in terms of approaching the final round from your game mentally and mechanically, what will be the keys to focus on? Yeah, I think playing smart golf around here. Um, you know, leaving the ball below the hole when possible. The greens are so fast that you can get some good looks going uphill. Um, but it's a golf course I'm really comfortable on, so um, same game plan as usual. Well, it was a steady day for Patrick Cantley. Not quite the 64 and the 65 that he opened up with a third round 70, but he remained in control and... Cool. That's what he does. What stood out to you about his third round today? Very measured. It was. You know, you take away the bogey on 17, and I think that round went just about how he had planned it. He, uh, he's come in with a very concise game plan, hasn't swayed away from that game plan this entire week, didn't make as many putts as he has the first two rounds. Um, I, think, I think a word to use is measured. It mm -hmm. was definitely a measured approach. Um, but, yeah, as I say, you take away that bogey on 17, and I think that round went exactly how he would have liked it to. We saw a string of six under pars out there today. Do you think he will be a little bit disappointed that he couldn't quite follow up in the low scoring that we've seen from him on the first couple of days, especially as conditions really did lend themselves to those uh, moves today? Yeah, maybe slightly. Um, obviously, I think it was probably the easiest conditions as far as that back nine played, and he wasn't able to, to separ separate himself, excuse me, there on that back nine. Um, I don't think he's going to be overly disappointed. I really don't. He still, we heard him say it. I've still got a two-shot lead going into tomorrow. I like the position I'm in, and I firmly believe that he does.